Good morning, good morning. I slept the whole night through. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you. Welcome to Psychic Cats' channel. I am Cats and it is the good morning uh, coffee. I drink tea, but coffee collective energy forecast for today. If you are new to this channel, please like, share, and subscribe if I resonate. If I don't, there are tons of wonderful, beautiful souls out there that also do amazing and accurate tarot readings please feel free to see who fits your vibe and to all the new subscribers hi and welcome good morning everyone it is march 19th it's a tuesday it's my monday mm. and i know that we had some really weird influx happen yesterday it was a 50 50 split some people were hit hard emotionally mentally brains going remember we're still in mercury retrograde we got the moon now in her major power and she's not even full yet influencing emotions and revealing hidden truths uh it could be about ourselves it could have been about a situation you just didn't want to see but anyway the energies we got for today are reflecting that now there's two things going on okay so we're going to cover the first wave of energy. Some of you have been really making that brain smoke. A lot of overthinking over the past couple of days is really draining you down. And it's almost like you're stuck. It's like you need a reboot, basically, is what this energy coming in is going to be um, encouraging you to do or influencing you to do. You really need to take time out and reboot, okay? Um, it's uh, You're not doing any good for yourself or others when... Your brain overthinks. You can't really focus on what's going on right now. And that's so important because what you want for the future, what you're working for, have starts happening right now. Not in the past. Happens right now today. So you're going to be, uh, for some of you, now remember it's not going to, this energy is going to try and cover everybody, but you know, not all of it may resonate. So take what does, ignore the rest. So if you've been in overthinking mode, uh, getting down, going down is what I call it, you know, getting kind of lost in your own head. Uh, not really, you know, you're working, but it's like a robot thing. You're there, but you're not. Um, it, you're going to be encouraged with this energy of coming out of the uh, Four of Swords. It's going to be encouraging you to rest, to recharge, to just quiet down. And some of you will be welcoming that with open arms. You know, take that mental break. Um, now, we also, for others who have been, you know, who have been feeling like, yes, things are moving. Yes, yes, go, go, go. We have got the Emperor's energy coming in. You know, not backing down, you know, keep moving forward. You know, you're charging towards your um, stuff and the manifestation energies are insane. Then we got the moon backing that up, you know what I mean? Um, so we got this energy for drive and for um, cutting through the bullshit. You know, <laughs> sorry, if you're not used to cussing, I do that sometimes. But uh, that emperor energy is really coming in strong to support us as we are still chugging along, moving forward. Uh, <clears throat> for those of us who are uh, who are really actively working towards uh, soul purpose especially, we have got this energy and we're going to be open to signs and synchronicities. You're going to be seeing a lot of that to guide you as you continue to work forward. We're heavily supported. Things are moving into the physical plane. We're starting to see signs of that now and feeling that supportive energy, the uplifting step into that. Allow that. Don't worry. Don't let your fears come in and try to trip you up because the, the emperor's energy will crack that pretty quick as soon as the fear comes in you're going to see something that's going to go I, mm, I don't think so so I really feel that very strongly today the energy that I don't know I feel like fire there's a lot of fire energy now for love okay and usually they don't you know usually we do it it's a general that comes up in my meditation but we got the six of cups it's not just about revisiting the past and stuff and looking at fond memories. You don't want to get lost in the past, though. That's the lesson of this energy. I feel that. But um, what I really feel strongly that this energy is representing is having fun. Not taking things so serious right now and just relax and let go with the flow. You, uh, you know, sometimes we get wrapped up in the little things. Nitpicking, kind of, because we're unhappy with something. Okay? It doesn't necessarily mean it's the a relationship or with uh, our relationship with family, friends, spouse, potential partner, or, or even, you know, being by yourself. It's about... <clears throat> This is about stepping into a place of being open, like childlike. Think, uh, I almost want to say the fool. It's reminiscent to me of the fool's energy here. Um, being playful. You might get caught up. I feel like this energy is going to kind of sweep 
us into a playful, fun energy, um, that innocence, you know, like way back when we were kids, you know, we didn't worry about all the BS that we do now, right? Because of, you know, experience and lessons along our paths and journeys, but we're being asked to step out of that space and really have fun and, and lighten up, basically quit being so serious. I feel like that energy, there's going to be this fun energy coming in. Okay, to to support that. So allow that. I mean, you can fight it. It's up to you. You know, you're in charge. You're the chariot driver, right? You say yes. You say no. You say I'm going to stay here in this miserable space. You guys have fun, but you're but you're going to be dragged into it. Okay, you're going to be affected by it. It may not be a massive, you know, grab on you, but it, this energy is underlying it. These are the three major energies that are going to be influencing today, and I really feel like you may you're going to have moments where you're going to step into that energy. And if it resonates, just keep riding it because it, it will build momentum. Okay, so I grabbed, of course, the actual energy cards here. A little bit, I call my cosmic energy connection cards. So what's really interesting is I can't make this shit up. When these cards come out and they align with the energy, it's kind of going into them a little bit more. So for the four of swords, it, 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 I just can't tell you how they fell out. Um, we got compassion. Being compassionate towards yourself not being judgmental and just kind of relaxing the credit, the critic inside, being more compassionate towards yourself. Uh, anybody who is affected by the uh, overthinking, the I call it the meat grinder. You know, you, you got stuff that goes in, something happens, your brain starts chewing on it, goes through the meat grinder, stuff comes out, you pick through the stuff that doesn't resonate, grab the stuff you feel that does, you throw it back in, you grind it again until you're down to the end. But it seems like it's ongoing. But you're being at, there's an energy of compassion to support you, okay, coming in. So if you give yourself that compassion and really look at it from a non judgmental standpoint, you'll be able to relax a little bit and your brain will start, you know, slowing down a bit. So, which is what we want. Be more clear. And the cosmic flower, the cosmic flower is about, I feel this is connected to the root chakra, feeling grounded and secure, being home like calling you home it's this is this energy is basically calling you home okay now get out of your head it's time to come home now the street lights came on it's time to come in um like stop you need to get out of your head and get back into the world again is what i am seeing for this energy it's really going to be showing up really influencing you today to step out of your head and take a break and realize that everything is okay and that um, you're okay. <clears throat> that's what I'm feeling for the people who are dealing with this. Um, that's what I'm getting, channeling in from spirit. Um, but take that time out for you. Reboot. It's okay. The world's not going to stop. Nothing's going to fall apart. You need to do this. You're, and nothing's going to majorly happen if you take that time out to just get your brain up. Okay? Because you need this. This is for you, you know? It's, like, it's almost like self-suffering. You know, and you're, you know, the brain starts going, you add to that. So you need to share yourself some compassion. Okay. And really uh, bring yourself home again. Okay. If that makes sense to some of you. Okay. So for the emperor's energy, of course, uh, you know, go, go, go. We're being supported. Anybody's on their path, more signs of synchronicities, more things coming in the physical plane. I mean, I personally have seen stuff go, boom, you're there, girl, here you go. And I'm like, whoa. So you really want to keep going with that momentum. And we got energy supporting empowerment, really giving us that sense of empowerment, sense of getting things done, accomplishment, uh, but not giving up. We're, we're still going. We still have this charged energy. To, the ideas are flowing. Write them down if you can't do anything about them right at the moment. Um, but we're really being fed this energy. I swear it's like, a, like here you go, here you go. Take this, take this. Uh, alchemy. Making things happen, guys. Manifestation. When this card came up right on top of the emperor, I about pooped. Okay. So, but I didn't because I'm not gross like that. So anyway, um, okay. <clears throat> it's like we're, we're seeing this energy is going to call up uh, the things that we are manifesting of towards our soul purpose uh, in all areas, by the way. Um, we're going to see signs of how we have contributed to manifest that in. It's almost like a huge pat on the back. But it's also encouraging us to keep going, going, going. There's more. So we need to open up to really um, 
you allow that in more, really step into it, that, that confidence, it will be um, influenced, uh, boosted, <laughs> okay? Uh, we're really gonna have a lot of empowering, literally empowering action today. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. If you guys have been stepping in your stuff and seeing all this good stuff start flowing in, stay with that and just allow the energies to guide you. Watch out for signs of synchronicities. They will point your way if you're going, well, I'm not sure what to do here. Keep your eyes and ears open, okay? And then, of course, we've got the Four of Cups. And we've got, and I can't make this up, we've got Emergence. It's basically, to, it's, I gotta read this, okay? The frequency of Emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude. What I say, play, have fun, don't take things so serious. Um, uh, the childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds. When we quit worrying and we raise our energy into just fun and going with the flow and feeling good, more comes in and more blossoms out from it. You start seeing things better and things will manifest from that, kid you not. Uh, this energy is definitely telling you that things will start manifesting, I feel, in the love area. When we tap into this beautiful supportive energy of having that innocence and a little bit of naivety, but you know, we learned our lessons, I get that. Some people are like, I'm just not walking blind into that. Well, you know, don't go blind, but really listen to that first gut instinct always. And I just really feel that the more you step into the, the fun and lightheartedness, especially with matters of love or relationships of any kind, and just go, you know what, it is what it is, and just step into the moment. I really feel that that's gonna kick something. This energy is gonna go boom. I can't, I, I can't describe it. It's, I see it as energy stuff, so it's hard to describe for you guys, but I do feel that once you step in and just relax, that all of a sudden everything just seems to kind of, I don't want to say fall into place, but kind of align up the way, it's a, the way it really is. You know what I mean? Um, you know, taking out the stress and seriousness of bills and, 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 and job and this and that and really focusing on the people around you. You know, and really stepping in and enjoying it. Really stepping in and having fun. Make it a point. You know, don't force yourself because that's kind of working against the energies, but allowing it. Just allow yourself to go with the flow, especially in the love area today. Of course, listen to your instincts first and foremost. Well, that's what I got for you guys today for this energy. And this energy is going to be strongly influenced by the moon. And we do have Mercury. So remember, watch your communication still. Um, you know, be really careful. We're sending emails and texts. Uh, keep it simple, keep it clear, and keep it compassionate. Remember to uh, always speak to others, especially during this time, as you would want them to speak to you. So on that note, guys, sending you much love and light. And if this resonates, please, please like, share, and subscribe. Keeps me going. That's why I'm doing this every morning. I'm even going to be late for work for you guys for this. <laughs> and that's fine. Because you know what? I love doing this. So anyway, guys, on that note, I have a $5 holla below if you guys are interested. And... Thank you and everyone have a blessed day.